Criticize him all you want, but President-elect Trump is doing what the people elected him to do, to create a team of individuals determined to right the course of this ship. From RFK Jr. to Tom Homan to Elon Musk to Vivek Ramaswamy, Tulsi Gabbard, Matt Gates, Marco Rubio, Caroline Levitt, and more, all of them, what they have in common, they are all passionate, they're all fierce, and they're all dedicated to this nation. And many of the same people that are now criticizing Trump's picks praised Biden's picks, like, like this one, Admiral Dr. Rachel Levine, a man who says he's now a woman. Levine is the Assistant Secretary for Health and Human Services. Uh, this next Biden official, he was also hailed a hero, uh, Sam Brinton. There he is. Nice red dress, uh, matching lipstick. Uh, Br Biden's gender fluid nuclear waste guru since been fired. He also remember he had a pension for stealing suitcases and then wearing those women's clothes inside the suitcases. Unlike Joe Biden's picks, uh, Trump's picks have nothing to do with identity politics, nothing to do with sex or race. Yet Trump continues to break barriers with his picks. Rubio will be the first Latino secretary of state. Susan Wiles, the first female chief of staff. I thought they said Trump was uh, racist, that he was a sexist. You know what this means? Woke is dead, folks. Even AOC removing her pronouns from her ex-bio. America has spoken. The best person for the job should simply be the best person for the job. Even Joe Biden is thrilled Trump won. Tell me, tell me when, when Joe Biden has ever looked happier without an ice cream in his hand. All of us, I, I think, like Joe, we've, we've finally been unburdened by what was almost a total disaster. MAGA, making America great again, is what the American people want. They have spoken loud and clear. They made it known at the ballot box with that landslide victory. But if you thought the legacy media lies would finally stop that clearly, you know, they, they didn't work during the election cycle. No, 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 no. They've actually kicked their lies into high gear. I want you to take a listen to The View, explain what newly appointed borders are. Tom Homan, who led, by the way, ICE under Obama, as well as Trump, will do once he gets into office. What he is saying is that U.S. citizens can be deported. What he is saying is if the parent is undocumented, mm -hmm. and they have U.S. citizen children or U.S. citizen spouse, or you, they, and, and you don't want to separate them, then let's, let's deport the U.S. citizens. I, I mean, you know what I loved about that is how all the ladies, they just sat there and nodded at that ridiculousness of what Navarro just said right there. Deport a U.S. citizen? Where are they going? What if they're, they have different ethnicities? Are they going to deport them to different, different countries? I mean, does she think that we are this clueless, or does she think viewers are this stupid, or is it a combination of both? One thing is for sure, these people, they are not well. Take a look at this next, next headline. You see it right there. You will end on a stretcher. Connecticut teacher on leave after threatening Trump voters. This is special ed elementary school teacher. I say was because she has since resigned after the district placed her on leave, and then she went on a local TV show, crime, blah, blah, blah. I mean... I was thinking about this. How many other teachers have said the same thing, but their rants didn't go viral like hers did? The fake news brainwashed that teacher, as well as so many other millions of Americans. I want you to take a listen to this MSDNC guest describe Trump's secretary of defense pick, Pete Hegseth. This is someone who we can host. Important distinction. Uh, this is someone who, um, you know, is known to be a white supremacist, known to be an extremist, uh, whose platform, whose book is basically about his opposition to the advancement of black op officers to the top brass. I mean, then, then Chris Hayes, uh, he was just sitting there, like, nodding along. Chris Hayes, you are a news anchor. You are supposed to be a journalist. It is your job, your responsibility to not only report the truth, but also call out people when they tell bold-faced lies like your guests did right there. Hexeth, he is a 20-year military veteran, an Ivy League graduate. He's won two bronze stars. And yes, he's a cable news weekend host, uh, like, I'm, like I am. I wonder why it was so important for them to make that distinction. Was that some sort of kind of put down because he works weekends? All of these Trump derangement syndrome afflicted commentators, they are perched so high up on their moral high horses that they have no concept of real life, what we are going through, right? Did you hear this whopper, by the way, from Whoopi? I, I, I appreciate that people are having a hard time. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I work for a living. If I had all the money in the world, I would not be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Uh, what? Only a few audience members laugh there. You know why? Because it's preposterous. Whoopi Goldberg has an estimated net worth of $60 million. She's been in all these movies. Remember Ghost, uh, Sister Act? I mean, she... she th she thinks she's like me and you. She thinks she's not rich. She thinks she has to work. She's trying to lie to us. Come on, stop. All of these wacky leftists, you know what? They, they heard, they saw the warning signs, right, that Trump would win. But they laughed it off. They thought it couldn't be because they're in their own little bubble world. I want you to take a listen to this little story from MSDNC's Joe Scarborough. Somebody who was going to be voting uh, for Kamala Harris uh, he came up to me and said, oh, my God, Trump's going to win. I go, why is that? He goes, I just, I went to the grocery store, butter's over $3. I kind of laughed, and I said, <coughs> I said, well, that's kind of reductive, isn't it? Said it to myself. To him, I smiled, and I said, good point. Mm -hmm. um, but it actually, $7. what everything we're hearing after yeah. the election is, <laughs> I'm just it saying, is. The seven. What's that? <laughs> the seven dollars. What's that? Butter is seven dollars? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is places. it framed in gold? He couldn't believe that butter is $7 now. No, Joe Scarborough, it's wrapped up in Biden and Kamala's failed policies. That's why Trump's win didn't surprise people like us, people like you watching this, because we live in the real world. We buy eggs and milk. Beyonce does it, and clearly neither does Joe Scarborough. Trump is also rich, make no mistake, but he has always worked with regular folks, and he has seen firsthand the swamp's destruction. That's why Trump's team knows step one in restoring this nation is stopping the illegal invasion. I want you to take a listen here. It's a home in with Donald Trump Jr. How much will you be able to improve the life of everyday Americans? I got three words for him. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. <laughs> I love it. You're going to see. You're going to see us take this country back. And look, it, like I said before, it isn't just about the deportation operation. It isn't just about saving the children. It ain't about securing the borders. What's the result? Less overdose deaths, less sex trafficking. For God's sake, it's one of the worst crimes around. Less migrants dying under this administration. Over four thousand aliens have died crossing that border. An historic record. Speaking of awe, I am still in awe of Trump's comeback and how close Trump came to death. Look at that, that, that video. I, I was sitting in this chair and I watched that all unfold that, that very night in Pennsylvania. God saved Trump's life that fateful day for a reason. And Trump answered God's call to save this country. So while you may not understand exactly what he's doing with all of his picks, trust the process. Trump is now purposely assembling, I think, his own team of Avengers. Not Avengers for him. No, no, no. But for us. For everything they have done to all of us. <laughs>